Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox. Not two, it's just Universe Sandbox now. So a while ago I made this beautiful pack of Spook Voopers, which is my planet that we all live on if you subscribe, so you should totally hit that subscribe button and like, like and stuff, but... Absolutely beautiful. They all look pretty fantastic, but the one thing that we need to do is get it into our solar system and one of the things that I was wondering if we could do successfully is if we could get Earth to be still perfectly livable while having it orbit something. And that is where we get a combination of these two ideas. We're going to get Spook Vooper, put it into Earth orbit, and then try to make Earth orbit it and see if that has any unfortunate effects on our life. Trust me, it will. It, it's not going to be good. But it, it will be entertaining. So let's go ahead and get the original Spook Vooper here. Put it into orbit of Earth. Or not Earth, of the Sun. And then we're just going to delete the Earth and replace it. Because that's the simplest way we can do this without major issues. Um, so if we do this, and then let's start close. So I'm 98% sure at this distance, yeah, Earth is going to be ripped apart. Um, that's unfortunate. We seem to have turned Earth into dust. To your favorite CSGO map. <laughs> Alright, time to try that again. Probably should have just saved, like... Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. See, this is why I shouldn't be a YouTuber. I just cannot click the right buttons. And that is all being a YouTuber is. Right, guys? Of course. Alright, let's try this again. Uh, is there a recent object? There should totally be a recent object button. Universe Sandbox 2 team. Please. <laughs> Uh, I remember when they used to comment on my videos when I was popular. That, that the good, good times. Now I'm just some angsty teenager they don't care about. Sad. <laughs> All right, let's try putting Earth a little bit further away. Uh, we just don't want Earth to be absolutely ripped apart because that generally ends poorly for humanity. Oh, there we go. Okay, so Spook Wooper is uh, Spook Wooper is a little bit frozen. I'm not gonna lie. There is some iciness going on there. But Earth, I think Earth is actually fine with this. Um, we're basically in the same area as Earth was orbit-wise. And uh, although every single, like, maybe not day, but every few days at least, there is a period where there is a second night as Earth passes behind Spook Vooper and a shadow gets casted onto it. So this is actually pretty interesting. Um, you'd have this second very, very dark period in which all the light from the sun is pretty much blacked out by Spook Vooper. It's a very large planet though, so it would actually look kinda neat. Um, and let's put that into kind of slow, slow motion so we can watch the sun slowly get unblocked. Because currently, the sun is blocked. I know, crazy. And we can start to see the sun peek through. And finally... Isn't space just beautiful? And now the sun has shone through. Now it's bright again. So when it comes to that, everything seems pretty normal. Um, I expected this to put up a little bit more of a fight, but it looks like Earth is completely fine. Uh, that brings up the question, how far can we go with this? Or how close can we go with this? How close can we get Earth before it taps out? and decides that it's going to die. Apparently pretty damn close. Um, I don't think it would be safe to get much closer. We'll try it, but if we look from the surface... Uh, where is it? We should be able to see it in the sky somewhere. 
It's a massive freaking planet. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just blind or tidally locked? What is going on? All right, that should be the correct side. See, what? I literally cannot see it. What is going on? Okay, if I go onto Earth here, I should be able to see right above me. Yeah, okay, that is massive. Look at that, that would be so neat. You'd be able to see cities and stuff on it. Pretty damn clearly. There it goes around, then it'll come back up over here. Give it a little bit. Or will it? Oh, there it is! Oh, that's so neat! Can you imagine that? Ugh. Sometimes I wish Earth had a cooler spot in the universe, but you know, we're not dead, and that's pretty cool. And being able to, like, support life is always, always a pretty nifty thing, especially if it's the planet you live on. Earth is starting to warm up because I'm just putting it so close that the tidal forces are emitting a lot of heat. Um, that's fine. I, nobody's dead yet. It is contributing to global warming, though, pretty quickly. Um, okay, people are dead at this point. This is, like, past the two-degree change that they say would be, like, cataclysmic. Now we're getting to, like, three-degree uh, change. We could balance this out by changing the Earth's albedo and just trying to make it reflect more heat, but you know, or even by changing the amount of heat emitted from the Earth's uh, core and all of the things going on there, but you know, why would we try to help Earth when we can actually put it into an even worse position? Closer. Still haven't hit the point where the tidal forces are ripping Earth apart, uh, but that definitely did increase the rate at which Earth is heating up. So that means we can get even closer. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can get much closer than this. I think this is really the limit, um, but from the surface it probably looks magnificent. Yeah, look at that. Basically the entire sky is taken up by the view. Whoa. If I turn off trails and labels and pause, I can probably get a pretty good picture here. Where is it? Oh! Oh, we can get it around the other way. Oh, look at that. And then what we can do is we can get Spook Booper and make it just a little bit warmer so that it doesn't look... Oh. We're gonna have to go around again. You see, this is this is challenging to get a a good. I just want to see what it would look like rising, Vooper rise. <laughs> Very nice. We just gotta wait until we see it poke up somewhere. Excuse me. Oh, oh, look at that. That is fantastic. That's just so neat. And if we get closer to Earth, you could really see. If you were on the surface, that would just look absolutely insane. I mean, it really does make you uh, think about how we see things from the Earth. I mean, that would be a little bit scary, though. Look at that. That is massive. If there were cities on it, you'd probably be able to see them. This, part of what's helping that effect is the fact that Spook Booper is just so damn large. It's a very large planet. Um, 212 Earths. There's a lot of gravitational mass there. It's, it's a little bit violent, not gonna lie. And we will see that violence momentarily. Actually, it's so heavy. I wonder if it's exerting much force on the sun. No, it's not even one Jupiter. But it's closer to the sun. That's that's one thing that you have to keep in mind. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and go a little bit closer. I think this is going to be it, folks. I, I don't think 
Earth is going to survive getting much... Like, it's already super warm. Really? I'm actually a little bit baffled at how this is not ripping Earth apart. This is, uh... I'm, I'm confused. This seems closer than what we started with, and when we started, everything exploded. Okay. Look at the speed at which it's heating up, though. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. It hasn't even been a year yet. <laughs> wow. We can fix that, though, just by going into the uh, surface tab, finding... Okay, maybe not. Com composition? Somewhere. We can find something. <laughs> uh, then for... Oh, there it is. Then we can just... Turn that up. Reflect all the heat. Oh, damn. Is that not making any difference? Okay, one second. I need to be able to see the difference that that has. So let's open up a new chart. Yay, charts. Okay, so that is that is really going up. And if we go here and turn that down. No. No, it's really just not having much of a change. Well, turning it up does turn down the equilibrium temperature a little bit, but it's still like 600 degrees. You can just turn the greenhouse effect off. Doesn't matter. We're just going to boil at this point alive. Slightly unfortunate. Boiling alive is not a good feeling. Some people enjoy it though. Hey, I've seen your showers before. <laughs> Alright, Earth is now being ripped to shreds along with the people on it. To shreds, you say? Alright, guys. That's it. That's the closest we can get. But, I mean, you can get kind of close without too many issues, and... It, even now, we've still got, like... A tiny earth, a very, very, very small earth, which is just slowly being ripped apart. But really, we got some cool views out of that, so no regrets. <laughs> it was worth killing humanity. We can all move to Spook Booper anyways, that's how it was meant to be. Thank you all for watching, thanks to my patron supporters, and don't forget to hit subscribles. Did I just say the word scribbles? Yeah, that wasn't cool. I don't know what I was thinking.